All right, and we're back for video two. So we're not going to be explaining all the ins and outs of the controls. So the next couple videos are going to go by real quick. So there's 16 colossi. And oh no, what's all this about? I'm going to get some sloppy bukkake here going on pretty quick. Mm-hmm. Also, take note of Wander here. This will come up later. So yeah, that's the formula basically. Every time you kill a Colossus, you end up back here. So you don't actually get killed every time that happens, but it is normal. <clears throat> also, every time we kill a Colossus, we get one of these white birds too. You can grab onto those. Um, I think there's an achievement on the PS3 that makes it so you have to hold onto one for like 30 seconds or something. You want to wait until there's more birds. It's really hard to do with just one. Also, here's this cutscene. In plain English, basically every time you find one of those, you're going to have a save spot. It also restores all your health. Not that it's a really big deal, but still. So, yeah. yeah. This is one of the best games I've ever played. I mean, <clears throat> I get it why people don't like it. It's a little bit boring in some aspects. It's a little bit pretentious, I guess you could say, too. It's got some really strange, like, devotion to it as well, but I think it's, it's fair. So yeah. we need to go down there into that, like, cove that's been formed. Also, something I really love about this game, it's subtle, but hardly any of it's symmetrical. A lot of it is just naturally formed, because in nature, shit just doesn't have a lot of symmetry. And I think that's a wonderful inclusion in this game's design. Also, you can just hold X. I just have my hand off the controller, just one holding onto X. You can actually go across these little... Some areas you can do this, not all of them, but some you can. Aggro just navigates it for you, as Lobos Jr. calls it, Auto Horse. So... And this is the next cutscene. And like I said, these little in-game cutscenes are designed to show you that you're in the actual arena. Now, this game has some wonky shit in it, but you can jump off very, very high locations and not die, even on hard mode. Um, I could demonstrate this, I guess. So let's go ahead and get our bow out, because we're going to need that for this next Colossus. And like I said... Um, you do not get to fight the Colossus in any order. You can, technically, if you do time trial, but that's after you finish the game. Um, it's always the same order every single time you play. Um, there's only a few I really don't like. 15, 16, and 14, I think, can all suck a bucket of fucks. I think they're awful. Well, 16, not so much, but... 14, yes. Fuck that fight. It's my least favorite one in the game. It's not even that hard. That's the problem. But anyways, this is the next area. So you have to go and activate certain spots. This can confuse you the first time you play the game, too. Oh, 
Oh, he's a big and ain't he? Oh, yeah. Made me bust out my Oregonian slang. Oh, this game's so fucking cool. God damn, I love this game. We're gonna call this one Appa Jr. Um, so... This guy is pretty easy to fight. What you want to do... Jump off of aggro. Do not stand underneath him, especially on the higher difficulty. You will die. Snipe one of his legs, and he falls down. In hard mode, he gets an extra spot. I think that's the only real difference. So... This is another mechanic in the game. And by the way... Oh god, I love this soundtrack. Just... I'm gonna let this sink in. Isn't this the most badass shit you've ever seen? It really is. This fucking gets you hype every time you play this game. So, this dude has two sigils on normal. This is the easiest one. Now... Oh, I don't like the sounds they make. I really don't. It makes me feel awful. So, you can chip off some of their health by shooting them with arrows in some spots on Colossi, like their fur. Um... So once it glows like that, it's it's done. You can't keep hurting them. They have to be killed in very specific ways. So on the other side of him, on this side, on his left side, right next to his uh, tummy area, that's where the uh, hard mode spot is. So what I'm doing right now is I'm actually holding square and just jumping forward, and occasionally I'm grabbing on if I think I'm going to get knocked forward. So, this is to conserve stamina, because I don't have very much right now. And oh boy, this is where the shakes start, this is where the shaking and the quaking comes in. And I love how just... The designs are asymmetrical. I know that sounds like, really Seth, you're talking about asymmetry? Look at this cunt over here, he used to go to art school for six years, talking about asymmetry. But it's true, I love how the designs are natural, like, not everything's all, like, clean and pretty. And if you're like... Seth, this looks very easy. I could do this with my eyes closed. Well, I'd like to see you try. But, uh, no. I've finished the game four times. This is the only reason this looks as easy as it does right now. Your first time playing this, you are not going to be in the same positions I am right now. You have no idea what their mechanics are yet. And it's a very fun... It reminded me of Portal the first time I played it. Oh, I don't like when this one dies, it actually feels bad. <laughs> oh, Appa Jr.'s dead. I killed the shit out of him. Oh, This is the ultimate feels bad man game. It really is. And so, oh look, Aggro, can you save me from the tentacles? I guess not. <clears throat> Uh, I, I just love this game, can you tell? It's just a fun, fun experience. Every time I play it, it's just so much fun. And I hope you guys are enjoying it as well. So, I'll see you in the next one.